It's quite impressive to take a look at all the work Google Earth has done, and there always seems to be plenty of interesting places to explore. From bizarre patterns in the desert to possible murder scenes in the Netherlands, here are 20 fascinating things on Google Earth. Number 20. Stampeding Buffalo Many of us would love to go on a safari someday and understand what wildlife is like in Africa. The only problem is that things can get a little bit expensive and we don't want to get eaten by lions. That's why there's always Google Earth to help us out. Located in the country of Tanzania, you'll come across a little square box surrounded by land which will show you at least 100 stampeding water buffalo. There isn't a whole lot of opportunities to see stampedes like this from a bird's point of view, so it's cool to check out. Number 19. HMAS Karangi there's tens of thousands of shipwrecks out there, and Google Maps is a safe way to explore them. The HMAS Karangi, located in Australia, was operated by the Royal Australian Navy and was launched in 1941. This vessel participated in atomic testing after World War II at the Montebello Islands, so it's possible that it's a little bit radioactive. It was left abandoned in 1970, and it still sits there wrecked. It's partially scrapped, but you can see some vegetation growing out of it. Number 18. La Guitarra Located in Cordoba, Argentina, you'll come across a guitar-shaped forest in the middle of some agricultural fields. The forest is made up of over 7,000 cypress and eucalyptus trees, and its sheer size is quite impressive. It's about two-thirds of a mile long and always seems to be visible by planes or satellites. A farmer decided to dedicate this forest to his wife who passed away, and he planted every individual tree with his kids. Number 17. Heart-Shaped Lake doesn't this seem like a romantic place to spend the evening with a romantic lover? Located in Ohio, this lake is upside down when you search it on Google, but you wouldn't notice that unless you're actually looking at it from Google Maps. Number 16. Owens Lake Located in California near Death Valley, this is a pretty strange looking place from an aerial point of view. It seems to be the place where the desert meets the high and imposing Sierra Mountains. The lake is currently a salt flat, which has a ton of different minerals, creating strange looking colors. It's quite isolated, and getting here by car would certainly be a challenge for anyone. Dust storms tend to occur quite often, and there's a few street views you can get. It's hard to believe anyone is actually mining here this far away from civilization. Definitely an interesting place to check out. Number 15. Gold Strike, Nevada if anyone out there thought the gold rush was over, think again. This massive mine proves that mining is still well and alive in the Silver State. Located in Eureka, Nevada, you can take your time to explore this place on Google Earth just to see how simply massive it is. It's also had quite the impact on the surrounding environment. This is currently the largest gold mine in North America, and it produces hundreds of thousands of ounces of gold each year. This mine is extremely remote, with the biggest city nearby being Elko, with only 20,300 people. Number 14, Loch Ness. You might have heard of some rumors out there flying around that there could be a monster somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. But on Google Earth, we seem to have found him. If you pull out the little street view person from the corner, it turns out to be a little green monster that you can use to see if there's actually a monster out there somewhere. Google Earth has also explored the loch with their 3D cameras as well on the boat. Number 13, Legoland. Next time your kid begs you to take them to Legoland, take them to Google Maps instead. Legoland has allowed Google Earth to capture just about all of Legoland with their 3D cameras, and it's a pretty cool place to check out. Here we see the Lego version of San Francisco on the right, which is quite detailed, and New York City on the left side. Never have the two cities ever been this close to each other before. If you like playing with Legos as a kid, this place should be fun to check out. Number 12. Potash Ponds the ponds provide a brilliant blue light in contrast with the barren Moab desert that surrounds them. When the sun evaporates the pond, what's left over are potassium crystals which are often sold. The different shades of blue are actually due to how much of the water has evaporated from these man-made ponds. Cobalt blue dye is then added to the water in order to help it capture more sunlight, thus evaporating quicker. These waters actually contain salts with potassium so you don't want to swim here. Number 11. Mount Kilauea Ever wonder what the world's most active volcano looks like? Well, check it out on Google, but don't get too close. Another Easter egg appears when you take out the Peg Man on Hawaiian shorelines. Check it out. It's a mermaid now. It's quite interesting to explore the various volcanoes of Hawaii, and you can see the plumes of gas rising from the crater. You can really tell how this volcano is changing the landscape of Hawaii by taking a look at all the black, dried-up lava. Number 10. The Eye of the Sahara 
American Eye is presenting to you the Sahara Eye, which is located in the country of Mauritania. After you search this one, you're going to need to zoom out a little bit because it's enormous. The massive geological structure is in the shape of nearly a perfect circle with a 25 mile diameter. It's so big that NASA used it as a reference point when they entered space. No one knows for sure how it was created either. Some claim extraterrestrials, others a possible hiding location for the Illuminati. Number 9. Thunder Basin Coal Mine Possibly the largest coal mine in the world, the Thunder Basin Coal Mine is located in Wyoming and you can tell from the aerial point of view that Google Maps offers that the land that surrounds it has been completely blown to smithereens. There's also quite a few strange trails that seemingly lead to nowhere. There's still a massive coal mining operation going on here, despite the trend of not using coal as much in the 21st century. Number 8. World's Biggest Pool It's summertime and we all need a refreshing way to cool off. The world's largest pool is located in the country of Chile. It seems a little bit redundant to build the world's largest pool right next to the ocean, but they certainly went for it. At least this way you can enjoy the Pacific Ocean without having to worry about jellyfish, big waves, sharks, or radioactive water. It costs around $400 million a year just to maintain. Number 7. The Spotted Lake this strange lake, found in British Columbia, Canada, looks extremely bizarre on Google Maps, and at first glance, you would really have no idea what it was. This is from a complex mix of minerals deposited here such as calcium, magnesium sulfate, and sodium sulfates. Strangely enough, it also contains small amounts of titanium and silver. According to the natives, the waters are actually therapeutic and add healing qualities to them. Number 6. Rhyolite, Nevada you can do a little bit of Google urban exploring in the city of Rhyolite, Nevada, which was once a prosperous gold mining town. Just outside of Beatty, Nevada, Rhyolite had a population of 10,000 people at one point, which was quite large for a city out west at this time. At one point, it had a total of 50 saloons, 35 gambling tables, and even a brothel. There's much to explore in this spooky ghost town, and there was also many abandoned mines left over from centuries ago. It's interesting to take a quick look if you're into spooky abandoned things in the middle of nowhere. Number 5. Nevada Circle There's lots of strange stuff going on in the Nevada desert. Many are quite confused with the presence of the Nevada Circle located east of Beatty. Here we see a sun or a star shaped pattern, also in the middle of nowhere, and at least 5 miles away from the closest paved road. The circle itself is about 800 feet in diameter and inside the triangles there appears to be some kind of structure that's hard to identify. Some believe that this is actually a desert form of a crop circle left here by aliens. No clear explanation has ever been given on it. You'll find more strange patterns also just north of here. Number 4. Oil Wells, Argentina Argentina has been known for being one of the top oil producers in the world, and we can tell from this place on Google Maps that it certainly shaped their landscape. This area in Rio Negro has been dotted with thousands of oil wells all in a dense formation. It's a little bit surreal in a sense, and when you zoom in, you notice most of the time there's really nothing on those little dots. It makes you wonder, even after all the oil is gone, how it will shape the environment in the future. Number 3. Groom Mine We're sure you've already thoroughly explored Area 51 with Google Maps already, but you might have missed something small. Located just a couple miles away from the infamous top secret military base is Groom Mine. Turns out someone's been living there the entire time since the 1800s and could know the truth about Area 51. They've been one of the very few people who've been allowed to stay on the Nevada National Security side since they technically were there first. This might remind you of that movie, The Hills Have Eyes, where a family encounters mutants who've been living on a bombing range. Anyways, according to some sources, they've had one heck of a view of nuclear bombs going off and experimental aircraft. And you thought your next door neighbors were bad. A couple years ago, the mining family relocated to Las Vegas and Groom Mine has been abandoned. Will the people who've lived here ever share their secrets? A body disposal. A mysterious image popped up on Google Maps at Beatrix Park in the Netherlands of what many people on Reddit thought was a person dragging a dead body to the pier, leaving a bloody trail. The shadowy, unidentifiable figure was taken by Google Earth helicopter. But was this really a body disposal in mid-daylight, or could it have actually been a soggy golden retriever that went running? After close analysis, it turned out that it was a golden retriever and water was responsible for the murder trail. And number 1. Mount Vesuvius we're all familiar with Mount Vesuvius as being the volcano that destroyed the city of Pompeii in 79 AD. But in modern times, the volcano is certainly capable of causing more destruction. With about 3 million people in Italy living nearby the volcano and 300,000 of them living within the red zone, it's certainly the most dangerous volcano in all of Europe. It's only 7.5 miles away from the city of downtown Naples.
Take a look at it on Google Maps, and you'll notice it's basically surrounded by people and houses. Scientists also claim that this active volcano is much overdue for an explosion. You can also zoom in quite close to the crater as well and drop the pin man there. Imagine taking a boat in the Mediterranean Sea and seeing this image of how frightening Mount Vesuvius with plumes of ash coming out of it truly is. What would you do if you saw this face in the clouds? It would be absolutely horrifying. Which place did you find to be the most interesting? Let us know in the comments section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video.